Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at this flight controller from HGLRC and it's called the HGLRC Zeus. Now this is a 20 by 20 flight controllers with the ESCs built in with flash memory, on screen display, F4 and everything you might need. However, there is a little catch to this. It only supports up to 3S on paper. So reality and in current times, what this might be useful for is some sort of a toothpick build that is a 20 by 20 stacking solution with enough space to incorporate this massive board here. However, what you get here is a proper board unlike the Crazy Bee boards, which is something going to be very useful actually. Now, you get a full-fledged flight controller with ESCs built in, which is also pretty insane. And what we're gonna cover is how to set this up. So, let's get started. So this is the HGLRC Zeus, and some of the things they provide you with is a small Chinese low ESR capacitor, uh, this connector, which actually has even more connections to it, it's not going to an ESC or anything, you can access, for example, some more UARTs, which we'll cover in a bit, and they also provide you with some standoffs. Now the mounting hole solution is 20 by 20 and it is M2 screws, keep that in mind, which means 2mm holes. Now to connect this in your quadcopter, you should install it like this with the camera in the front here. As you can tell, the arrow is pointing forward and this side should be up. Now what connects to the sides here is the three motor wires for each motor will go right here and they just start running. There's no need for ESC again because the ESCs are built in. So it is a pretty attractive solution, but it does have some unique cases currently since it supports only a maximum of 3S. You can push it for a 3S HV and uh, I think more than that, you could probably push it for 4S, but I don't recommend it in the paper. You know, on paper, it doesn't say it supports 4S, so use that at your own risk. Now, let's start with the top up here because everything is basically going to connect up here except the video transmitter back here. Now, you will need some sort of XT6, XT30 to be exact or some kind of JST for the battery because they don't provide that for you. So that's where those would go. This is where your battery actually connect. Video transmitter is going to be on the inside. We have the VTX, which is the yellow uh, line here for your video transmitter. And this would be the black wire and this would be the plus wire for your video transmitter. But I still recommend you figure out a place to add this low ESR capacitor. You will definitely need it. Now, if we start from the left up here, what we find is SBUS signal. Now, this is an F4 flight controller, so you need to take into consideration IBUS, Spectrum, and SBUS will not connect in the same place. So if you have an FR Sky receiver, which is SBUS, then you'd want to give it black, which is the ground wire here, the red wire for the 5 volt here, which is the power for SBUS, and the signal would go right here for SBUS. Keep that in mind. IBUS will not work if you connect it here. Neither would Spectrum. Now, they're also supporting PPM. Not many flight controls are actually doing that, but you also have PPM right here if you needed it. Next down the line we have is Spectrum right here. So if you had a Spectrum receiver, you'd want to put that right there, your signal, and the red wire would go right here on 3.3 volts. And for the ground, you can go here, but I'd recommend you go all the way back here for the ground because this ground is for the camera and it'll just make your life a lot easier when installing the camera to put the receiver ground right here, whatever, whatever receiver it might be. Now for IBUS, you're gonna to wanna to go negative, which is the black wire, and you're gonna go five volts, which is going to be the red wire. And for the IBUS pad, where you'd wanna go is one of the R pads on this end right here. For example, we can go to this one, which is currently RX6. So that's where you wanna put your IBUS right there. Now for camera, very simple, the black wire, which will go here, the yellow wire of your camera is gonna go here, and the five volt is gonna go here. And basically you're done. It would be a super quick install here. Absolutely insane. Power, VTX, camera, receiver, done. And the motors, obviously. So it's really nice into that perspective. But then again, you also need to take something into consideration with these boards that if an ESC blows out, you will have to replace the whole thing because you're not going to be able to access the signal output from the flight controller here unless you do some resource remapping but then that's just a whole new level right there. So overall, it's a really nice board. I don't know the current price of this. I'll have it linked down below if I can get my hands on a coupon. I'll also have that down below. So go ahead and check the links down below. It's a great support channel. Come join my Patreon. I have two of these up for giveaway. By the end of the month, new Patreons. For example, I have five Patreons. Uh, they get their own special premium giveaway or possibly even two. I do way more than one giveaway per month. I actually do uh, four plus giveaways a month on my Patreon. So come join my Patreon, not miss out on any of these awesome uh, parts here. And I'll have everything linked down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.